All right, this is a quick update for September 2nd, 2016. We're looking at the Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop, and uh, Hurricane Lester has changed directions today and is now moving to the west-northwest. And also, it looks like there's an area of high pressure right behind this system, right down to the southeast of the uh, core of that system, which is pushing it out of the way, it looks like to me, because of the uh, pattern. If you look at the moisture pattern in the water vapor loop right here, we can see that something is uh, forcing that system in a different direction right here down and on the southeast uh, side. All right, so that storm will probably miss uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Let's go take a look at the, uh, the Hawaii map right now. This is the water vapor map for uh, Hawaii. We can see a blast pattern around the edge of that system. And it also looks like there's something, some high pressure right in this area because of the odd uh, shape there. Uh, it's forcing that system out of the way, off its track. This thing was moving due west for several days. And now suddenly, as it approaches the, uh, the islands, it makes a turn. And of course, this is what we saw all last season with uh, Every single one of the hurricanes, I, I believe, except for one, which uh, actually did the same thing that Madeline did. They ran it, they blew it up at the last second, and part of that uh, hurricane went over the top of the uh, Big Island. I believe is how it how it went. Okay, so anyhow, we're seeing a rerun of of what we saw last season. Let's look at this same thing in the uh, the same hurricane in the uh, infrared loop, and we can see there's still a lot of uh, deep red. It's very intense with 105 mile per hour winds and an eye wall. We can see that. <clears throat> now in the uh, visible light mode, you know, we see a lot of photoshopping uh, during the uh, day to night transition. So they are trying to hide their, their uh, work, uh, which includes uh, targeting that system with microwave to destroy the uh, organization of the system by superheating it. All right. So now let's take a look next at some of these other maps. This is the, uh, the water vapor loop once again for the Northeast Pacific. We have some very strong onshore flow throughout uh, Central and Southern California and into Mexico, and that is uh, pushing away all this monsoonal moisture. We have a new disturbance actually down in the, uh, the Eastern East Pacific with, a, I think it has an 80% chance of hurricane formation in uh, two days. Okay, also we have counterclockwise spinning area of low pressure up here, which is being disrupted by this transmitter, and also same story over here, right over the uh, Aleutian Islands. Today we had humid weather. It was in the uh, mid-80s. It wasn't too hot. Okay, now let's take a look at the... Uh, Tropical storm. Uh, this is uh, Ermine, which is now moving uh, up the coast, the east coast, through uh, North Carolina, it looks like right here, and is set to uh, land somewhere up here near possibly uh, New York Harbor. Keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the uh, what's going on here. Looks like we have a transmitter right on the back side of this system. Here is Ermine right here, and we've got something right, right on its tail, right down here. And that will uh, certainly amplify the weather right here where that uh, high pressure is being forced into an area of low pressure. So we'll see a lot of violent weather uh, as this thing passes through. Now here is the uh, infrared loop. We can see a lot of intensity, a lot of red, deep red there where the uh, Right down here, that's fairly intense uh, weather, rain. So we'll keep an eye on that. Now here's the Southern California map, uh, the Southwest map. We can see that very strong onshore flow here, which is just bulldozing all the monsoonal moisture away from uh, California and Arizona and out into <clears throat> New Mexico. Here's the rainbow loop for the same map. And uh, Southern California is, is pretty much dry, bone dry. 
there's no rain in the forecast and everything is being prevented there's just no zero rain and once again let's take a look at the big map we can see that this is a transmitter generated high pressure which is uh, just pushing everything out of the way that will block uh, this uh, frontal system here which is uh, not going to drop down it can't because there's too much high pressure in the way right right throughout this entire area okay so that is the uh, that is the report we'll just leave it right here this is uh, Hurricane Lester which has taken a sudden turn to the north west west northwest all right that's it